this is so great. I love these so much. By the way, I'm not sponsored by Brooks in any way. I wish I were, but I'm not. If you have foot issues like I do, you are gonna to wanna to watch this video. Hey, welcome back. Today, I am going to talk to you about why the Brooks Glycerin 20 is so far my favorite shoe of all time. And if you have not seen the previous video where I showed you all of the shoes, I think there were seven different ones. Check that video out because it's something that shows you what I look at whenever I am choosing my shoe. First thing I want to let you know is that I do have foot issues. I've had them for 20 years. As I have gotten older, they have probably gotten worse. And so I do wanna talk about why I choose the type of shoes I do and why the Brooks Glycerin 20 ticks all the boxes for me. Also, if you have metatarsal issues, I have a little hack I'm going to share with you at the very end of this so that you can save a ton of money and alleviate the pain that you feel the bottom of your foot where the metatarsal is. As we age, that pad wears out. So I've got a little hack for you that is really cheap and very effective. I have chosen Brooks Glycerin as my all-time favorite. I walk about 30 miles a week and there is a morning walk which is my big walk and then an afternoon walk and of course I'm walking the dog but she gets me out and even when I'm not walking with her I am walking on a treadmill if it's raining or something which by the way I'm outside today we're expecting more rain and so I thought you know what I'm just gonna sit outside while I can. So excuse these crows, they are super loud. Anyway, the reason why I have chosen the Brooks Glycerin 20, first and foremost for the comfort and the cushioning that it gives me when I'm out on my walk. I knew that I was going to like the Brooks brand anyway. And I had two other pair of the Glycerin. I was able to pick up a new pair from Brooks during their holiday deal. If you recall, I have talked about trying out different shoes and using my Posh account to do that in a very inexpensive way. And then if I know I like the shoe, I am fine with spending the full pop. But I kind of like a deal, right? So why did I choose the Brooks Glycerin 20? I chose it because, well, it was one of the ones on sale. So able to get my size. Let me explain the difference between a wide shoe and a shoe that just has a roomy toe box. I never knew this until I started doing some serious walking and realizing maybe I didn't always need a wide, depending on the shoe. Brooks has a very wide toe box. If you have a wide shoe, it's wide throughout the whole shoe. You may think you need a wide shoe, but you actually may only need a shoe that has a roomy toe box so that your feet can do their thing and splay out whenever you're walking, especially when they start to swell up just from you know heat and the exertion. That's the difference between a wide shoe and a shoe with a wide toe box. So this shoe has ultra cushioning and I'm gonna take this out just to show you. It's not as cushiony as my specialized insoles that I put in. However, it's not bad. And I tried this shoe out around my house two, three days before I actually took it out on the trail and on the walking paths that I do. And I did not put my insoles. I just used this. And it actually was very comfortable. The shoe itself is also built to have additional cushioning inside this area. With the Glycerin 20, you have nitrogen injection. And the nitrogen injection acts as a cushion. And you've got the shape of the shoe giving you a slight rocker, which makes for, as they like to say, a nice ride. And I love that it comes in some fun colors. It's got the kind of splay in the front that is enough to keep my foot sturdy on the trail, but not so wide that it looks kind of crazy. I was wearing these for about three weeks before I decided to do this video because I wanted to make sure that I really did believe in what I was saying. So inside the shoe, you will see that it's completely cushioned around your ankle. It doesn't ride up too high in the back, so it's not ever rubbing. It has adjustable laces, and so you can take the lacing to the level that you need it as far as how tight or how loose. And of course, it has the venting across the top of the foot, which allows for any foot weird things going on like I have. <laughs> I had a surgery years ago that did not it was a failure. And so 
now years later, I'm still trying to accommodate that. Would I buy the Brooks Glycerin 20 again? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, the Glycerin is my favorite shoe that they make. They have several different styles. So just because it's a Brooks shoe doesn't mean it's the best shoe for you. And that's what I always encourage you to find out. What's your foot issue? And then you also have to decide how much am I wearing the shoe? And where am I wearing it? Am I just walking around the house? Am I a nurse and I need to be on my feet 12 hours a day? And so I need something with that kind of cushioning. Do I have a wide foot? All of those things factor in. And it wasn't until I really decided I was going to get serious about my fitness and do the walking that I started investigating all of the differences. And that's why I love Brooks. I love them. There are other shoes that look cuter and have a fabulous color combinations, but for a serious walker, someone who's putting the miles in every week, get yourself a pair of shoes that will make you feel great while you're walking. I have a great hack for you. Before I started putting my insoles in when I was doing my walking, just wearing regular shoes, I would buy those little pads that go into your shoe to give you extra cushioning across the metatarsal, you know, the bottom of your foot where the, the padding kind of wears out and then you have other issues. Crow competing. <laughs> Can you hear that crow? Okay. We have a million crows here. One day when I put it in the shoe and it loosened up and it was not fitting properly, I said, you know what? This thing is sticky on the bottom anyway. I'm gonna put it on my foot. They're super sticky. They're kind of like those little bras that stick and then you peel them off. Super sticky. I can wear this all day long. And whenever I take it off at night, I just rinse it off and I stick it right back onto the plastic and it's on the little sleeve that it comes with. So, see how sticky that is? This is so great. I love these so much. They're super thick. They're super padded and I can position them on my foot where I need the extra padding that has worn off over the years. If you don't need a full, if you just need uh, a little bit of padding, maybe on the outer side of your toe, I pay $1.50 for these packages. And even if you just ordered them on Amazon and paid a little bit more, they are so worth it. You use them over and over again. They're inexpensive. I take a few with me in my purse so that if I'm out and about and I realize, oh, you know, I've walked more than I thought I would. Let me just slap one of these things on. If you've been sticking the pads to the shoe, you can now stick them to you. <laughs> I hope this helps you decide what type of shoe is going to be best for what you're doing, the foot issues you may have. And uh, I'm not sponsored by Brooks in any way. I wish I was. I am not, but I have to tell you, I love this shoe. So something else I meant to mention, Brooks offers a 90 day return on worn items. Can you believe that? worn items. They offer a one year return on unused items. In the shoe industry, I don't even know of anybody that gives you a 90 day return on a, on a worn shoe. You can expect about 500 miles, depending on the kind of terrain that you're using them on. And I'm walking, I'm not running. So, you know, that makes a difference. But I can get anywhere from four to 500 miles on my shoes. And you'll know they start to lose their tread. There's that extra cushioning. Love these for sure. So if you're like everyone else getting back into the fitness game, I hope this was helpful to you because really if your feet hurt, you're not having a great day. If you weren't able to pick up a pair of shoes during the holiday discounts, it's still worth it. There are still some discounts going on. I do put a lot of miles on them and I have tested out all of those other shoes. So that's why I'm talking about the Brooks Glycerin 20 today. Thank you for joining me. I usually uh, drop a video every week, but I'm getting ready to go on an adventure and I may not be in town for a while. So if there's not a video next week, just stay tuned because there will be some fun things coming up. I will see you soon. Happy New Year. Bye.